Hey everybody, it's Alex Miller at Capneon here. To be a little cheeky, let me start out by giving you the best and most useful part of a doctoral degree in math in about 10 or 15 seconds. People love to argue and freak out. A lot of times when people are arguing and freaking out, you should take a step back and say, these words we're using, does everyone agree on what they mean? Does everyone even know what they mean? Do they even mean anything? And sometimes the answer to these questions, if you bother to ask them, are not what you would want. So one of my theses that I share over and over again, I think it's really important for how kind of silly it is, especially if you're in a leadership position, you have to communicate with stakeholders about AI. Hey, what is AI? Was the machine learning we were doing a few years ago and calling machine learning is that AI? How, like, what makes something AI? So in my flavor text for this video, I talk a little bit about the reality is basically any photo you see, if it maybe probably came from on a smartphone, is already AI doctored to a significant degree in that there's a lot of really sophisticated machine learning that's cleaning up the photos you take on your phone on the fly. And it's in a very vanilla way. It's trying not to change content, but it's cleaning up the lighting and making sure the focus is in the right place and all of these things. So any photo you, you see anybody put on Instagram, even if it came straight from their phone is in a sense AI doctored. People will say, oh, well, you know, that is one, those are just machine learning filters. It's not real AI. I would challenge anybody, and I would love it if you guys started arguing in the comments, well, where exactly do you draw the line? I will say, if you tried to figure out what the weather was like from these videos, where I'm at in Creve Missouri, you would be dead wrong because... I'm very sad. I'm just making these videos on my regular old computer laptop with just the stock software that came with it. It fixes the light level for me and it doesn't always do a good job. So some days if it looks real sunny, well, it's actually dark outside and it's doing a slightly bad over job overcompensating and vice versa. So that's kind of silly. A lot of, you know, it's not AI doctoring, but if it's something that became important, I wanted to allege something about what type of day and weather I'm picking to make these videos. Well, these videos are bad evidence. They've been doctored. I didn't ask to doctor them, but I was lazy and I let this thing doctor them for me. There's a whole lot of examples like this. Uh, really, some machine learning algorithm has been handling a whole lot for us for a long time. I've posted about this before, but a lot of people let LinkedIn, which is an AI, write their LinkedIn bio. A lot of recruiters have an algorithm filtering these LinkedIn bios. A lot of big companies use an algorithm to filter resumes. So you could call that Skynet HR. It's in different pieces, but a whole lot all the way through. It's in the hands of machines. If you've been handling your career a particular kind of way. Maybe a lot about your career has actually already been decided by robots. Finally, if you've seen me talk about human-centered AI, I hope you've been getting good advice. I'd be happy to give you more. Realistically, AI these days, you have to think about there's a human in it somewhere doing quality control, clicking yes. Human in the loop is inevitable. Repeating my theme that a lot of the time, AI is already in the room more than you know. I believe it's true these days if you're on a call with customer service somewhere. You're in an interesting hybrid zone where you might be talking to a real person. That person is talking to you via a sophisticated, vaguely AI filter that's cleaning up their accents. Maybe they're in some foreign country. And I'm going to give an example I saw in the news. I'll include a link below this video. Maybe they're in the Philippines and they have a strong accent and that's off putting is someone calling from the United States. And what you really talk to if you call that brand and you get connected to that call center in the Philippines is a real human, but who's talking to you via an AI that's going to make them sound like they're in Texas. 
and you never really know what you're getting. To just repeat my theme, AI's been everywhere for a long time. We've been calling it different things when we notice. A whole lot of the time, we don't notice. One way that this is useful is people talk a lot about, well, what's the future going to be like? Well, there's a lot of the future in the present for you to look at if you want.